Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. And today we're gonna to be looking at an EDC update for the month of June, 2016. If you guys aren't familiar with, EDC stands for Everyday Carry, and it's basically all the items that you would normally carry on your person on a daily basis. I like doing these videos in front of the camera so I can show you guys what I'm carrying, but more importantly, how I carry it on my person. As you guys can see, I'm just wearing a t-shirt and some cargo shorts. It's uh, really hot down here in South Florida, so cargo shorts definitely work best, especially to be able to distribute all the gear all around my body. I don't want to be weighed down with so much gear because I do carry quite a few different items, especially multiples of different items because I might be testing them out and things like that. So let's go ahead and start from the top. Uh, I always wear a pair of Oakley glasses. Let me get front of the camera here so you guys can see. Uh, today I was wearing my Global War on Terror fuel cells. I really like this model. I like, love the colorway and everything. So I was wearing that. And while I'm up here, I'll show you guys. I always wear a paracord bracelet. I was just wearing this uh, this one with the Oakley symbol on it. And then my watch, as of late, has been the um, Apple Watch. Uh, I actually picked this up uh, not too long ago, so I've been uh, wearing it ever since. Kind of gave my G-Shocks a little bit of a rest. And this one has the carbon fiber case from uh, Bastion. And this is, if you guys have an Apple Watch, I definitely recommend you guys picking up this case. It is really awesome. It's really elegant, it's nice and thin, and it gives it a really awesome look. Uh, that's uh, Bastion, which is magplates.com. Definitely check them out. All right, so uh, let me back up a little bit so you guys can see. Again, I'm wearing cargo shorts. These are from LA Police Gear, and I really like these cargo shorts specifically because they have these two slash pockets in the front, and I really use those for a lot of the gear that I carry. So what I'll do is I'll kind of work my way around. I'll start on my left pocket here. Clip to the pocket itself is my EDC flashlight. And right after reviewing it, I threw it into my EDC rotation and it stayed there since. This is the Through Night TC12. This is putting out a thousand lumens on its high and it runs off of one 18650 battery. Uh, I really loved it, you know, and uh, again, I was kind of like my first jump into testing bigger flashlights. And, you know, ever since I, you know, started carrying it, I haven't been able to put it down. It's got the uh, mode switch in the back, so it's, uh, you know, you can activate the thousand lumens or whatever mode you want to leave it on. And then the side switch here to kind of switch them out. So I know that I always press that and it's going to come out and on a thousand lumens. It's got momentary on and then constant on also. And again, it's a little bit shorter than uh, other flashlights in its um, range. So other thousand lumen flashlights or 18650 battery flashlights. And it is rechargeable which is really nice because um, if I notice that the battery is dying I can just throw it on the charger and it's good to go so again that's the through night TC 12 I do have a review on that if you're interested and that goes clipped onto my left pocket inside the pocket itself I have two items the first one is the microfiber cloth for my glasses and this is the one that matches the global war on terror uh, fuel cells that I'm wearing and the second item is a spare mag for my Glock 42 which is my um, concealed carry weapon so that goes in the front left pocket there in the slash pocket in the front I would normally have my iPhone 6 plus but I'm actually using it to record this video so there's nothing in there now and these pockets do have a plastic D ring on the top too which is really nice it does come in handy for other things so onto the uh, left cargo pocket clipped onto the pocket itself on the inside is my EDC pen and this is it right here. Uh, this is a no-name brand pen that I got from work and it's really cool because it does have a stylus tip on one end and then it has a um, LED light on the other so you push in on it and it's just a little LED light bulb which is nice you know if you have to find your keys or something like that and then if you need to use the pen you could just pull it and there's the pen itself. Again, this is a no-name pen. I know a lot of people ask, uh, where can they get this? You can just kind of do a, a Google search or an Amazon search for LED stylus pen and something like this will come up and you can go ahead and pick it up. That goes clipped onto the cargo pocket right in the front there. And then inside the pocket itself, I just have two more items. The first one is a lighter, and this is just a regular Scripto lighter. I like these um, kind of throwaway lighters because if I lose it or something like that, I don't have to worry about it. I know a lot of people say, you know, why don't you carry a Zippo? Uh, just because I don't really use it that much. I do more, uh, like, I use it for, like, paracord products, lighting up candles and things like that. So, you know, if I lose it or if it gets banged up, I don't have to worry about it. So that works well. And that goes in the pocket. And then inside that pocket also is my little first aid kind of feel good kit. I know I've shown this in a lot of videos. And if you guys see repetitive stuff from my previous EDC videos, it's because I feel that that item 
works and I don't want to change it. So, you know, that's why you see it uh, very repetitive. So inside it's just kind of some band-aids, some alcohol prep pads, uh, a couple of headache medication, stomach medication. But this comes in handy very, very well because especially if you have kids or, you know, if, if uh, you know, a stranger cuts themselves, what actually happened the other day, somebody cut themselves, they didn't have a band-aid. So I was able to give them one with an alcohol prep pad and they were able to go ahead and um, clean themselves up. So this comes in really handy and it's nice and thin. So that goes inside that left cargo pocket. I don't carry anything in my back pockets um, just because I don't want to be sitting on stuff. But also I want to leave those pockets open instead of in, in case I do pick something up and I need to put it somewhere, I don't have to wear it down in any of the other pockets. So I can just put them back there. So those are empty there. Uh, onto the right side, inside my right cargo pocket, I have two more items. The first one is my kind of people-friendly uh, EDC backup knife, and that is the Victorinox Alox, uh, the cadet model in the Alox edition. And I just love these guys. They're very, very thin. It's got a couple blades, a couple screwdrivers, and things like that. This is the knife that I reach for if I don't want to attract too much attention, open up a package in public or something like that. Um, I'll use this instead of using my uh, primary EDC blade. So that's that. And then inside of that cargo pocket, I also have my wallet. And I've kind of, I'm kind of been transitioning through different wallets because I'm testing out some other wallets. So kind of went back to the recycled firefighter wallet just because I slimmed down on how many cards I have. So I just have a couple cards and a couple IDs in there, some cash in the back there. So it's really thin. And, um, you know, again, I'm testing some different wallets out. So, you know, this might change tomorrow and then, you know, it might change the next day and stuff like that. So that's what just what I was using today. And that's the recycled firefighter. And this one is in the uh, tarp. Uh, feel because I know they have different ones. They have the fire hose, they have the leather, and then this is the uh, the tarp that they use with the multicam uh, border around it. So that's that, and that's pretty much it for that cargo pocket. Um, inside the front pocket, I have uh, this little guy here. This is the uh, Factor Ghost 130. And I actually just post, posted a review on this little flashlight. It's really awesome. It's tiny. It's smaller than a AA battery, but it has uh, two modes. It has a twist on for eight lumens, and then you continue to twist on for 130 lumens. It is rechargeable also, which is really awesome. It comes with this little paracord lanyard, which I left on it. Just kind of throw it in my pocket, and I use this to pull it out. But it has a split rim also, so if you want to attach it to your keys, it'll make a great keychain flashlight. So again, if you guys are interested, I just posted a review on this. Go ahead and check it out. So that's uh, kind of thrown in my pocket there. And again, this is one of those items that I'm carrying just to kind of test out because I do have my through night TC12 uh, main flashlight. That's what I use for everything. But, you know, I sometimes pull this one out just to see how it performs and, you know, how much the battery lasts and stuff like that. So I have that one in the pocket itself. Uh, besides that, my uh, main EDC blade is clipped to the front pocket there, and this is the Browse Blades Hardwire. I also just did a review on this particular knife. I picked it up at Blade Show when I was there a couple weeks ago, and this is an awesome, awesome knife. Um, I love the way it feels in the hand. It's got a nice, long blade, which is, um, I can use it for a lot of different things. It's got a nice reach to it. If I had to use it as a self-defense weapon, I can go ahead and do that. And uh, it's nice and thin, which is really awesome. So that's my main EDC blade. That's the one I've been EDCing uh, ever since I got it again at Blade Show. And that goes clipped onto the right pocket there. In the slash pocket in the front here on the right and clipped onto that um, plastic D-ring, I don't know if you guys can make it out, are my car keys. And uh, basically this is the key fob to my car. And I have uh, just a couple keys on there, but I do have quite a few different little items on there. And these are the items that are kind of um, redundancy backups to my, you know, main items like my knife, flashlight, and pen. Because I do have a little knife, a little flashlight, and a little pen on here. The reason that I have this, and again, it's not because I want to carry two or three or four different flashlights and knives and stuff like that, is because if I have to leave the house and just grab one item, I can go ahead and grab my car keys, which I will need, and have everything that I will need right here without having to worry about picking up other items and things like that. So even though these are redundancies, in other words, if my main flashlight fails and I have a backup one here, this is also serves a purpose. Um, it's a, basically a mini EDC kit in itself. So that's why I have it like that. And basically what it has is just a um, Swiss Army Knife Classic, which I always have on there. I have this little LED Lenser K2 flashlight. Again, it's a twist head flashlight. And, you know, it just gives me a little bit of light if I need it. And then I have this little um, telescopic pen here, which you pull out and it becomes a full-size pen. And then once you're done, you can just put it back in. 
and uh, put it in there. And it, this is by Urban Gear. I know sometimes people ask that. And one more item that I have on here is my little in-case uh, charger. And this is awesome, or not in-case, I'm sorry, in-charge charger. Uh, this is awesome because it kind of comes apart and I use um, Apple products, so this has a lightning uh, connector on it and a USB on the other. I find that more and more places are um, having uh, USB ports on their chargers, you know, like like wall chargers and stuff like that, especially like at the mall and stuff like that. So if you need to a quick charge, you can use that. Or if you have like one of those little battery banks or something like that, you can do that. And then I, I also have a free uh, Night Ice locking s beaner, and that's actually what I use to attach the keys onto that D-ring. And then I just kind of drop the keys into the pocket so they don't jingle around and it works perfectly for me. So last but not least is my EDC firearm and that is my Glock 42 chambered in 380. I appendix carry and here it is. This is actually a brand new holster that I'm testing out, which um, I'm really, really impressed with. And this is by a company called JM4 Tactical. Uh, it uses this really awesome magnet. I'm, I'm actually going to be doing the review of this pretty soon. So probably after this video, I'll be um, doing the review for this holster. And um, this is, again, the Glock 42. There's uh, no magnet in there. And this is my EDC firearm. So the Glock 42 chambered in 380. And again, in that inside the waist um, JM4 tactical holster, so, which is really nice. So... There it is, that is my EDC again for the month of June 2014. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I really like doing these videos because hopefully it gives you guys an idea of how to carry your EDC gear, uh, especially if you're carrying you know, quite a few different items like I am. But as always, I do wanna point out that you know, I carry these items because I feel that you know, it's what I need for the day. Um, you know, every item has a specific purpose to it and it works out for me. So everybody's EDC is a little bit different. So, you know, just carry what, what you feel works best for you. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks.